This time on What's New at DXC, a new antenna analyzer, power supplies, bandpass filters, and lots of antennas. Welcome back to the DX Engineering channel. I'm Michael, KI8R. We've been adding a lot of new products lately at DX Engineering, so let's dive in and see what's new. Up first is the new Rig Expert Match. The match analyzer is unique to the Rig Expert line in that it's upgradable. Not only can you add more frequency range, but you can also add more features. This means that you can buy the base model now and add features later if and when you need them. The match has a large 4 inch 480 by 480 TFT LCD display, comes with a built in rechargeable 18650 battery, is factory calibrated, and uses USB C. The base model covers up to 70 MHz and includes features such as an SWR chart, RX chart, return loss, SWR meter, multi SWR meter, and more. Upgrading to the advanced license adds frequency coverage up to 230 MHz and adds additional features such as a Smith chart, stub tuner, and odd board calibration. Upgrading to the RFE license adds frequency coverage up to 500 MHz and adds TDR functionality as well as an LC meter. I recently did a review video on the Rig Expert Match. There's a link down to that video down in the description below. To go along with the match or any of the Rig Expert antenna analyzers, there's a new calibration kit which includes three Type N interfaces for calibrating your analyzer. This kit is rated up to 2.5 GHz and features a unique design which keeps all three of the interfaces together so that they'll not get lost. Moonraker has a new desktop switching power supply that's adjustable from 9 to 15 volts and is rated up to 30 amps with a peak rating of up to 35 amps. This supply features separate backlit meters for voltage and current and includes a noise offset control which eliminates pulse noise in the amateur bands. It also allows for low current devices up to 3 amps to be connected to the front pair of snap-in terminals and includes a front mounted 10 amp accessory jack as well as rear mounted posts up to, rated up to 35 amps. 12 volt power also has two new power supplies. The PS3001D is a 30 amp digital switching supply which is adjustable from 4 to 16 volts DC and is rated at 25 amps continuous and 30 amp surge. It also has an LCD display which it shows voltage and current. The PS3002 is also rated at 25 amps continuous and 30 amp surge and has two pairs of power pole connectors on the front as well as a pair of binding posts on the rear. Next up are new bandpass filters from RF Mecca. These filters are rated at up to 200 watts and have an insertion loss of only 0.3 dB. They're perfect for contesting, de-expeditions, or field day and are available for 10, 15, 20, 40, 80, and 160 meters. Owen Power has a new automatic bandpass filter. This unit contains six individual high Q hand tuned bandpass filter boards that cover all six of the amateur radio contesting bands. The OM6 BPF features automatic or manual band selection, a maximum insertion loss of 0.4 dB or less and is rated at up to 200 watts. It's compatible with many Yaesu, ICOM, and Elecraft rigs, as well as OM power amps and band decoders such as Microham. LDG has the new AAF5 analog audio filter, which is designed to work with most transceivers and receivers. Since it uses analog filters, the audio quality is significantly better than when using digital filters. This filter will effectively reduce background noise by more than 10 dB, as well as enhancing signal to noise ratio up to 20 dB. This filter can be inserted between your rig and external speaker and supports an external recorder as well as headphones. New from Chameleon Antenna is a remote antenna tuner which covers from 160 to 6 meters. This tuner is rated at up to 125 watts CW and sideband and 100 watts on 6 meters. It will also handle up to 60 watts on digital and other full duty cycle modes. This tuner is unique in that it works with coax fed as well as vertical, random wire, and long wire antennas. 
The URT-1T is compatible with almost any transceiver and does not require any radio-specific control cable. Look for a review of this tuner in an upcoming video. New from Carlson Communications is a heavy-duty drive-on mass mount. This mount consists of two parts, the drive-on base and a heavy-duty mass mount pipe. This mast mount is available in three different sizes from 1.4 to 2 inches, 2 to 2.5 inches, and 2.5 to 3 inches. This mount includes a thumb screw for securing the mast inside the mount. Look for a review of this mount in an upcoming video. Along with all these new products, DX Engineering has a number of new antennas and antenna accessories, including the new Moonraker HLP270 dual band horizontal loop for 2 and 70 centimeters. This antenna is rated at up to 800 watts, and it's a unique half-wave dipole antenna that is bent into a square loop. Frequency coverage is from 140 to 150 megahertz and 400 to 470 megahertz. This antenna is approximately 11 by 11 inches and weighs, at just, weighs in at just 0.8 pounds. There are also three new VHF and UHF dual band vertical antennas from Moonraker. The SQBM100P is 4.3 feet tall and has 3 dB of gain on VHF and 6 dB of gain on UHF and will handle up to 150 watts. The 200C is 5.1 feet tall and has 4.5 dB of gain on VHF and 7.5 dB of gain on UHF and will handle up to 200 watts. The 500P is 8.2 feet tall and has 6.8 dB of gain on VHF and 9.2 dB of gain on UHF and will handle up to 200 watts. Also available for Moonraker is the Gap H antenna. This antenna is a half-wave vertical that is designed to cover the 10-meter handband as well as most of the 11-meter CB band. The Gap H is approximately 18 feet tall, has 2.4 dB of gain, and will handle up to 500 watts. New from Chameleon is the Hybrid Mini BNC Portable HF Antenna. These antennas are available in either 30, 60, or 130 foot lengths and cover from 160 to 6 meters. They can handle up to 500 watts on sideband, 100 watts on CW, and 40 watts on full duty cycle modes. Each antenna comes with the Hybrid Mini matching unit, 10 copper Kevlar PTFE, and a wire winder. These antennas can be configured in several different ways, including a sloping wire, inverted L, and a dipole. They're great for portable operating and quick and easy to get on the air. The hybrid mini antenna base is also available separately. Chameleon also has five new antenna accessories, including the 21-inch 3H24 spike mount, which will give you more flexibility with antennas like the Hybrid Micro and Hybrid Mini, along with a number of other portable antennas. The Chameleon Antenna Work D Dipole Wire Kit is designed to be compatible with the LEFS4010, making it easier to get on 12, 17, and 30 meters. The wires are color-coded so that you'll know at a glance which wire you need for the band you want to operate. This is an easy way to expand the capabilities of your LEFS antenna. Also new from Chameleon is the CHA blank antenna mount adapter. This mount supports the Chameleon SS58, SS17, and SS25 whips, along with most other 3H24 whips, and is available in both BNC female as well as an SO239 connector. This adapter is rated at 300 watts sideband and 200 watts on CW and full duty cycle modes. Another accessory from Chameleon is the single extension, which is a great way to lengthen your antenna. The kit comes with two 27-inch anodized aluminum extensions that are 3 8 24. Extending your whip, especially on the lower bands, can improve your antenna's efficiency, bandwidth, and performance. Also new from Chameleon are the new Stinger Rigid Radial Elements. This is a solution for creating a ground plane for your antenna when space is limited and putting down full-size radials is just not possible. The kit includes six 48-inch stainless steel elements, set screws, the cap hat hub, and two Allen keys. 
New from Firestick is the 2M CBK 5 8 wave 2 meter base antenna. This antenna is 49 inches tall with four 20 inch radials. It will mount on a mast up to one and a half inches in diameter and give you 6 dBi of gain. New from Res antenna is the Scout GS vertical antenna system. This portable antenna will work from 20 to 6 meters and can handle up to 500 watts on sideband, 300 watts on CW, and 200 watts on full duty cycle modes. This antenna is available in several configurations, including the antenna with a spike mount or aluminum tripod mount, and is also available with the FlexPak antenna bag. The Scout comes with the mount, mounting base, 17-foot whip, and four radials. Res also sells the flex pack with the non-slip elastic pad separately. Look for a review video on the Scout GS soon. Coming soon from DX Engineering is our new window feed-through panel. The cut-to-fit panel is built on a cedar plank and includes five SO239 connectors, as well as a ground lug. The kit includes five vinyl caps to cover the unused coax connectors and 10 feet of weather stripping. The feed-through panel is an easy way to get feed line into your home without having to drill through a wall. Also from DX Engineering are the new side rails for the Yaesu FT710. The rails are designed to provide protection for the FT710 and are great when you want to take your radio out into the field. Constructed from high-strength, lightweight, impact-resistant black polymer, these rails will help protect your radio while giving you an easy access to your rig. They'll also make it easy to attach things like tuners and other accessories to your radio. The kit includes all the necessary hardware to attach the rails to your radio, along with an Allen wrench and four rubber bumpers to protect the finish on your rig. Look for an upcoming video on these rails. And last but certainly not least, new from the ARL is their new book, Ham Radio from Indoors. This is the ultimate guide for setting up a discreet yet effective indoor ham radio station, whether you're in a HOA, condo, or an apartment. And that's it for this round of What's New at DXE. I'll put links down in the description for each of the items in this video. Be sure to check out our website to see if the items that you're interested in are in stock. Thanks for watching. I'm Michael, K-I-8-R, and I'll catch you on the next one.